from the one and only. This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by FHIA, Florida Home Improvement Associates. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes, and here's a look at the stories making news on this Thursday night. A dangerous chase in Broward County. It started in Hollywood when the driver of this black pickup truck rammed into an SUV with officers inside. Police say those officers were watching a suspect in an armed carjacking that took place in Miami-Dade last week. Officers chasing the truck through 441 in Davie, where they made a pit maneuver and stopped the vehicle. The four people inside the truck were arrested. Another person was taken into custody in connection with the armed carjacking. The so-called serial police case rapist, uh, pillowcase rapist rather, from the 1980s appeared in the Miami-Dade County courtroom today. 69-year-old Robert Kohler is facing rape charges related to a case that dates back to 1983. Police say the suspect was connected to the case after examining a DNA sample they got from his son when he was arrested for an unrelated case. Detectives searched Kohler's house where they reportedly found a weapon, jewelry that appeared to be souvenirs from those attacks and a little excavated room under his house. New details about the Miami police captain's suspension. The police chief confirming today that Javier Ortiz was suspended with pay over an investigation involving a separate agency and that the complaint could have a criminal or civil component. The chief says his suspension has nothing to do with bizarre comments he made last week when he told city commissioners at a meeting that he identifies himself as a black male. Listen to Local 10's podcast, The Florida Files, wherever you are, whenever you want. Just say, Alexa, play The Florida Files podcast. Getting the latest episode of Florida Files. Here it is from TuneIn. Previously on The Florida Files. Or just ask Siri, I want to hear the latest Florida Files podcast. Here's the newest episode of The Florida Files. Get The Florida Files on Alexa, Google Home, or Apple devices. Just by saying, play The Florida Files podcast. The Florida Files from the one and only Local 10. No sign of Antonio Brown today, a day after police issued a warrant out for his arrest. The troubled NFL star is accused of assaulting a driver from a moving company who was trying to drop off a delivery at his Hollywood home. Brown's trainer, Glenn Holt, is accused of the same crime. He bonded out of jail just yesterday evening. Brown and Holt face charges including burglary and battery. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always head to our website, local10.com, for more local news coverage and updates. We'll see you back here on Friday.